Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at a puppet list for Maisha. This is a pretty straightforward list. We're not running any omens, so we're mainly just relying on that Maisha play to really finish games. We are using Apostle of Destruction combinations, Sylvia combinations, and of course Omen of Craving. Just as a full-on board flood setup, honestly you could probably easily fit in something like Omen, probably just messing around with things like Little Puppeteer and a few other combo cards here like Apostle of Destruction maybe. and Putting those in could work out, but we're going to get right into this and check it out. So I found this deck to be a lot better than a straight up artifact version of it. Basically I was running a artifact Maisha deck and was having very little luck. I definitely think the Omen version is better overall and definitely will be covering another version of that probably in probably the next week I reckon. Definitely in the next week. But Overall, this is reasonably solid, it does the job pretty well, and when people are expecting Omen, they tend to try and play around it, and if you don't play to that formula, it can be a little bit of a surprise, which obviously gives you a little bit of an edge. So starting off with, of course, resistance, just blocking out anything that could potentially happen. Unfortunately, Black and Scripture isn't one of those options. So I go for a early Hero of Purgation, mainly trying to set up for the Apostle. As Apostle felt like the best bet since they'd already used Banish, I expected them not to really have anything else again. To have another Banish would be reasonably unlucky. So that means I actually have a chance to use my Isha earlier than turn 10 if I could get the potential Puppets, although this hand is not perfect for that. At least the Haven matchup is usually pretty decent. So Victoria is going to allow us to of course remove this Lion and gain a Puppet, so a little bit more value. And there is the Saint Hairs. Saint Hairs has become a very common deck now. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I actually quite enjoy seeing those bunnies. It's definitely one of my favourite cards from the mini expansion. Just based on artwork and effect. And going into turn 6. We are going to be able to wipe out at least two of these pretty easily. While, of course, setting up a pretty decent Maisha play. Of course, that does mean we had to sacrifice one Evo point. So we do only have one more chance, of course, for the Maisha play. Since we aren't running the uh, Blade to remove effects, which, of course, would work as well. But this deck does a fairly decent job of board control without Evos, which is probably why it performs as well as it does. So I usually try and get in whatever chip damage I kind of can, set up as much as I possibly can, to try and go face as soon as possible. So the double trade with the Holy Cavalier, not a bad way to do things, but it's not good enough for us. So we can draw a couple of cards, sacrifice a puppet, set up a decent board. Actually, just pop the cookery, probably. Aim for as much damage to the face as we can get, also weakening the 5, which is not the worst outcome. Obviously, Omen of Craving definitely hurt. Having King 11 damage to the face, not the best way to do things. But now we get a pretty good turn to actually clear this out. So, taking advantage of our Puppet and our 1-drop. We can actually go for the uh, Maisha, because the Maisha, once those two have been sacrificed, will be at 16 damage, with two points left over to set up, of course, Hazardous Invention, which is actually a little more out there combination to go for lethal. Usually most people will focus purely on the Maisha, but I found that surprising people on turn 9 with that kind of combo works really well. A lot of players like to assume that you're not going to either Maisha early, or if you are, you're not going to have enough damage, so when you can surprise them with something like that, where even when they add up the damage, even if you're one off, you can still pull off that kind of lethal, it really is difficult for them. Also, I've, of course, loaded up the wrong match here, so we'll drop that match for a second. So it's just a little insight into the next video, I've actually got a uh, Rotation Spartacus deck which will be our next video. That should be reasonably interesting. But this isn't a bad starting hand, it's a little clunky but 
against Rune, keeping the resistance is actually pretty good. Especially when you can go turn 2 into turn 3, or even better if you can get something like Hamlin here, which makes a really good turn 2 play. And they did get Circle, which means we're at a lot less risk just playing the Hamlin out. Even if they did get Missile, I probably would have made the same play though to bait out the Missile. And there's Rabbit Mage. So it looks like Earth Rune. Definitely substitution is a card you want to use on Golem. One thing I do love about going up against Earthrune, it's pretty easy to waste puppets on easily weak followers. And that's not a very impressive turn from our opponent, so another junk, setting up even more puppet play for the Maisha, which we do already have in hand. Which does let us go face fairly easily. Turn 5 isn't looking great. I did end up using a substitution because we have two. They're only really going to play one golem at a time, which will probably come next turn, so making that play definitely was the right choice. And now protecting our board from any major risks as far as just removal goes. Of course, a lot of runes removal is damage based, so it's not the best way to defend, but it saves us a little bit. So now we get a decent chance to ram these followers in, banish it so they don't get any earth sigils, or the card back, which is the bigger bonus to that, and even aim for potentially hazardous invention for kind of those extra lethal points that we'll be looking for. And I did decide to sacrifice a puppet for some extra draw. There is the uh, Magic Founder. That one's a little tricky to deal with. That's probably what they were aiming for. They wanted to go for the Magic fo magic Founder Goblin combo on a basically full board. I can definitely see that being a really good strategy for them. But we're going to go for, I think, 5 damage to face this turn. Putting them at 11. And trying to protect ourselves. Even if it is just from the surface. Fortunately, Staff of Whirlwinds is going to wipe this. But we do only have to survive a couple of turns for this Maisha. Which does give us a chance to set up these inventions. Since we don't have any other plays and we do have Loco, that should save us next turn. Legendary Fighter. And a Witch Snap. So the only risk for Legendary Fighter would be, of course, if they went for the Evo effect, which obviously they can't do. We did end up getting the Apostle, which would make an interesting combo with the Maisha. But I decided uh, not to go down that path. And just go the Loco to get an extra Puppet. Since there really wasn't a need to take any big risk. Especially with this setup. The only real issue would be a ward, and I'm pretty confident that we could find a way around that. And for the finisher, the Maisha play should be way more than enough now. So she will have a 4 damage in stat, plus, of course, the boost of 20 for 24 damage. Quite comfortably. No real big backlash issues on that match. So definitely a reasonably solid deck, com definitely compared to the Artifact one. Both Blood and Artifact have been the two decks I've struggled with the most in the variants that I've got at the moment. Of course, Blood being the worst. I think I've played 30 Blood games for hand buff Blood, three different variants, and had no luck. But this deck does its job pretty well. I mean, I would definitely want to test Omen in this kind of variation. I think that could have some really cool consequences going forward but other than that really happy with how it performs and hopefully you guys will too puppet room also might not be a bad option definitely in a deck list i've got to find a decent one for i'm hoping some competitive players will have posted some really nice portal lists to go over but until then hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe for more content you'll find the deck list in the description below until next time see ya